The first thing I want to do this week is make some UI improvements. I definitely need to scale everything down to better fit a desktop screen. Also this left side with the panel and buttons like this looks kind of disorganized, so I want to rearrange those somehow. And finally I want to move this inventory to the left because your goal is usually to the right side. It seems like it kind of visually gets in the way of that. So I made this mock-up to see what some changes would look like. I think the buttons look better at the top and there's room to add more here. I'm also going to stick with this white transparent look, although I did increase the alpha, make the shadows a little more visible, and add this blur effect, which makes it easier to see edges and text and stuff. So now I just need to implement this in Unity. I made all those changes and here's what it looks like. Got this nice blurred background behind everything. I also made a UI manager script which will let me add more buttons up here and scale everything if needed. I think it might still be a little unbalanced on this side with all this stuff over here, but I'll leave it like this for now and see how it feels. Now I'm finally going to add some more properties to this edit menu. Here are the properties that I added. You can disable collisions which will let an object pass through other objects. I also improved the look of the connector changer to this radio button style. And then for springs, you can change the spring constant and the target length. So the spring constant is just the strength of the spring. And then the target length is how much you want it to extend or compress. So here's extended and here's compressed. And then you can do anywhere in between. What I'm doing now is converting some of my graphics into SVG files. SVGs store shape data that make up an image rather than pixels like PNGs do. Then in Unity I'm using the Vector Graphics Preview Package which will convert SVG files into meshes so that your sprites can have infinite scalability. This is pretty useful for this game because when you zoom in, you won't lose any resolution. And as a bonus, the file sizes are a lot smaller. And one last thing, the game has a name now, which is... Siege Engineer. <laughs>